Welcome back to Morrowind Monday. Last time was ending a bit confused. I didn't know where to go. <clears throat> I did the research that I promised to do and I figured out where Hiding Deep Raid is. I already explained to the people watching this recording live on Twitch that it was a typo. His name is not Hiding Deep Raid but Heisen Deep Raid and he's a Nord standing outside of Aldrun. So we're going to go there. This is something I should have remembered, but as I said, two months no play makes Panthe a stupid kitty. There we go. Let's head up the terrace here. Well, I, I was thinking about Aldrun. Can you take me to Aldrun, please? Oh, again, this costs gold. Well, the charm spell, I think the charm spell is out of the question now, because it's not just so ex expensive, it also costs like 256 magicka. So, yeah. So let us just, let's just walk around <clears throat> that place. I did not check on a map, I only checked the description in the Elder Scrolls wiki. Could have, could have opened a map. Oh, fight. Oh, uh, no. There we go. Fireball. Where is he? Or she? Or... Oh, over there. That's my attacker. Well, then I'm... <clears throat> then I'm just going to move on. Too many beats have been sabered before this recording. So I have this urge to cough due to my asthma. I took a spray right before starting the recording, but that urge still sometimes is there, especially when talking. But I'm too stubborn to not do the recording today. And I'm awake enough to actually do so. Oh, that was the switch back from battle to normal music. So the enemy finally let go or stopped noticing me, basically. It didn't say where. It said in the wilderness, whoops, in the wilderness around Aldrun. Oh yeah, this is, this is what I was talking about in the last... Um, in the last recording, your fatigue is low, you are tired, and you can't do any spell casting. <sighs> Played too many first person shooters lately, namely Fallout New Vegas. That's what I'm currently playing pri uh, privately, or without streaming, that is. And I'm used to, after killing an enemy, pressing R for reloading. So this is why I did this. Okay. But I'm going to do this. No. Dropping quick saves don't hurt, especially not if you're playing a game designed by Todd Howard. <clears throat> because in his infinite wisdom, of course, he makes you take br regular breaks. Hey, I pressed R. Todd, what are you doing? Not enough magicka. That's what you were doing. Not enough magicka -ing me. Well, there is a standard restore magicka potion, and I'm using it. There we go. Let's take the rest of plumes. Let's just harvest some random stuff that we find. This is a road from the picture that was in the wiki and which made me remember who, who that guy was. This actually looks like... Yeah, there we go, until healed. Thank you very much. And thank you. Until yield. And again. This is also typical for this game. <laughs> People wonder why I'm uh, why I'm uh, walking around 
for so long just to get from A to B, like in, people in game, I mean, it's because I need to rest af after every few meters in order to recharge my magicka, just like so. Okay, fight. This is bound to be a cliff racer, I think. Yep, behind that, okay. <clears throat> Let us check the map. We are walking in a direction we have not yet been, so this must not be where he is. So let's just head back. Uh, is this back? No, this is further. My mouse is turning very fast in this game. And if I make it slower, then the mouse cursor is painfully slow in the menus, so it's like, yeah. <coughs> No, we're talking. Did you see that? That was the wrong button. Rest until heal. Rest interrupted by not a cliff racer, but one of these little Kwama things. And again. Look at all these corpses around me. I mean, these these two were just interrupting my rest. Being able to pitch up a tent would be nice. Like you pitch up a tent and then um, the um, chance of an interruption is lower. That would be kind of awesome. Okay, <clears throat> I was lost in a train of thought over here. That sometimes happens. Kitties are known to space out from time to time. So, yeah, it must be one of these, one of these roads here, here, or somewhere there. Of course, the current weather is very bad for that, so. Let's real quick have a better rest inside. What's that? I'm, I'm being attacked in the middle of the city. I mean, the music changed. That's usually a sign of... Well, I'm going to enter the Guild of Mages, you know. I wanted to say, let us rest inside a nest made out of a fluffy, blanky and a nice pillow. So let us just rest here for one hour to get our fatigue back. A little kitty nap. There it goes. And back at... I don't have any questions, sir. So let us head out of Aldrun and check if we can find that Nord guy. Also, the game thinks that we're currently being attacked. So, I'm expecting to take damage any second. I don't know where the attacker is, but, well, that's just how it works. Todd Howard knows that we're going to be attacked, so he changes the music. Okay, I'm going to try this area here. And it seems that in his infinite wisdom, Todd Howard decided that we're not going to be attacked. Or maybe we are. <laughs> Who knows besides of... Well, I'm going to drop that act. If you want to know where I got this from, it is the Spiffing Brit. <clears throat> Check out his videos about the... Especially about the Elder Scrolls series that are perfectly balanced and without any exploits.
and you will know what I mean. And I just like him so much that I'm, you know, that thing, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Except for when you're talking about Marilyn Manson albums, then, of course, the quote is, mutilation is the most sincere form of flattery. We are within the city limits, aren't we? Yep, we are. Should have illegally checked the map, but I didn't. On the map, I would have seen where he exactly is. It said outside of Aldrun. I guess it's either on the way from Aldrun to Gnesis. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that he's here. No, this is this is like what. <clears throat> oh, it is it is the the road to Ghostgate. I think it is actually either the road to Caldera or like up here to Margan. One of these roads is, or to Balmora. This one of these roads we should follow. Because I'm pretty sure we found him while we were, well, he heading somewhere. I'm going to try to, going to try to take a shortcut by heading. Yes, there is. From heading straight through the city. We cross this city. We cross this city in morrow wind. And again, I'm being attacked in the middle of it. That's it's, it's, this game. Really. It's so weird. Okay, so we're now going to just head over to. I mean, I also checked where where this Mael Kashishi is supposed to be, because I'm pretty sure I heard it in some place and the journal just doesn't tell me. And it is supposed to be west of Margan, so somewhere around here. And it, yeah, it does look like, like this is mountains here. This is like one of the Foyadas, one of the... Um, where the lava from from the volcano goes down <clears throat> and i think this was mountains over here so we might need to come from gnesis and go like there and check this area out if it's there or from gnarmok like over here we, could, we can walk to gnarmok or go the road to, i think it was some somehow like this and then walk upwards. I think this is how we get there, somewhere around here. Yeah, around here, I guess. We will see. And what better way to do this by just then by just heading to Margan and checking if there is a way to cross. Not the bridge. No, what's the word? The mountain range. <clears throat> so, Margan, this is north. I hate traveling in sandstorms. And also, yes, of course, there is our attacker. There you go. This was, I guess, what attacked us within the city. Just let me... Yeah, we're still within the city limits. Let's just head some little bit further away so we can actually rest. <laughs> Until healed. There. Bam. K blemo, take all. I am just noticing that, are you on the stream hearing the desktop audio? I think nobody's hearing the desktop audio, neither in the stream nor in the YouTube, which means that in post-production I need to put some music there. <clears throat> I'm going to fix this right away. This is, I did not check if the thing was working. I checked everything else. Now the audio should be in the recording. And let me real quick check. Oh yeah, you on, on Twitch, of course, you heard it all the time. <clears throat> so, those people on YouTube, I'm sorry, you will have 
to make do with a beginning without desktop audio. I just wanted to change it a bit. Audio. The wind is a bit loud in my opinion. Let's just make the music a bit louder like this. Okay. So where are we headed this way? And we wanted to rest. See, I'm completely confused now. The confusion has lifted and so has the sandstorm. And hello Lobo Master, or should I say hola, since I... Why am I pronouncing, when I'm talking Spanish, pronouncing it with an English... And now I'm completely confused. I did not notice yesterday who you were. <laughs> I, I, I noticed after streaming yesterday by uh, seeing your Telegram handle and seeing that it's the same than your Twitch handle. <laughs> and sorry for hitting the microphone. <laughs> so that was, that was kind of weird. <clears throat> so, hola, Wolfie. I don't know what wolf is in Spanish. One more thing to learn, Margam. This is where I'm heading. And I think I should rest yet again. Why does it stop me resting? I'm not he fully healed yet. I mean, I still have these until healed. Did I just press rest? Could, it, could that be? Did I just rest for one hour? Ah, oh, so Wolf is Lobo, so you're, 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 well, Lobo again, Lobo, you're, so your nickname basically is Wolfmaster. That's nice. See, my nickname, Nightwalker, or well, Nighty is the short form of Nightwalker, of course, is from, I am on my way to Morgan, is uh, from my, when, when I um, joined the furry fandom, um, I had the habit of taking walks in the night, basically. Like, I couldn't sleep, and um, so I got out at 1 a.m. and took a long walk. Oh, there's another one. A rat, of course. Pesky rats. <clears throat> so this is why I'm called Nightwalker. It's kind of... Yeah, I, I'm bad at... I mean, no, no, I'm lacking the Magicka. I'm bad at naming things. I usually use name generators when I'm role-playing or something. Oh, come on, really? This is getting embarrassing. There we go. I mean, I'm, I aim to become the greatest mage of all times, and this is what I do to a simple cliff racer, right? This is kind of embarrassing. Anywho, we are going to go over here and see if we find it. So it said on the, um, like somewhere around uh, Aldruin, but I don't trust the textual des description. I usually note, blah, blah, blah. normally I, I made my notes like, um, this person is on the road from X to Y, so I could just like go onto that road and trace it and then I will eventually find them. But for some reason, I didn't make that for Heisen or Hisen Deep Raid. Uh, T is rest until healed. There we go, of course, another sandstorm. The game knows exactly how hard it is to get all that sand out of your fur, you know. And I mean, you, you don't want to lick it out of your fur like you normally would clean your fur, right? I mean, you have, will have all the sand in your... In your um, uh, you, on your tongue, that's not nice. And you can't choke it up like a, like a regular hairball, so it's... No. Sand and fur is not nice. We agree on that, right? Ah, so... The Wolfmaster says that his nickname comes from when he was seven or eight years old. And... You selected a nickname from games or for playing games? Because the um, the other nickname that I have, the one that I actually am logged in on Telegram, is my gamer nick. So the, the, the Telegram username. So I'm, I'm basically 
four games. Yeah, it's that's the same with my with my uh, username. I didn't back when I when I joined the fandom. I did not want to um, associate the two. And now I don't care. My coworkers know that I'm a furry. Two of them will. will nah, I'm not allowed to say that here. <clears throat> two of them will see something special. Let's keep it at that. And um, I can't rest now. And I need to press the middle mouse button. I need to remember that it's the middle that I change it to the middle mouse button because I always. Ah, I think I think I change it from tab because tab jumps when it's open jumps into this um, search field, which the original game doesn't have. So I change it to the middle mouse button. I swapped the uh, the two buttons basically. And I need to get used to that because I am actually so used to pressing tab for the inventory in Morrowind because that's the original button. Until healed. There we go. So yeah, I wanted to separate the two, uh, the two of them, like my furry self and my. I didn't want anyone who knows my gamer nick to know that I'm a furry, basically, and so I chose a different nickname. <clears throat> And that one is Nightwalker. And actually, I'm happy that I call... I think Master of VDL is a weird nickname for a kitty like me. So that's not him, that's someone else. I need to stop doing the mumbo-jumbo thing, shaking the mouse, when I want to like tell people that they should look in the direction that they are already looking, because you can only see what I'm seeing. I mean, it's kind of weird. Fraser. The Fraser 1. And. Well. He doesn't notice me. Yeah, that's that's the thing with these. They. they um, make. I just thought that Cliff Fraser was stuck in the terrain. They make you stunned. Paralyzed, I think, is how the game calls it. Again, a mouse rat, not a mouse. And now he comes. That's well. He wants to burn too. Every, everyone wants a bit fi of fire. I mean, I can understand it. Fire is nice and warm. And being a kitty, I of course love nice and warm things. So, but you would not believe it. But me as a kitty, I also love water. Taking a bath is, or, or jumping into a pool is one of the nicest things ever. I just, I hate rain for some reason. It's kind of weird um, because it usually makes me feel cold and I do hate the cold, being cold. But um, I think that doesn't hit. No, of course not. Um, <clears throat> but the, I should rest and then get there actually. The um, the rain can be can be actually pretty nice when I'm in a pool. So like being in a swimming pool and getting rained on is a really really nice feeling. Same goes for being in a swimming pool in winter when it's really cold out and you dip your hair underwater and the air is frosty. <laughs> yeah, I I can't just real quick switch to. Uh, and deal with the spammers on Twitch, but usually they only send one message and then they leave. Could turn on this feature that you need to follow me for at least 10 minutes, but I guess the spam bots will then simply do that too. I don't know. So, just ignore them. I should have checked the date and time when I'm. Uh, that was well, no matter. doesn't matter. That was um, unnecessary. Don't need to kill those. Those aren't aggro. Um, because then I would would have been able to tell you. Well, you know this little this little walk from one city to the other took us so and so many days in game. But I think this is the the end of the second day now. To be honest, this is kind of... It feels realistic because you are um, you are walking for days to get from one city to the other. It does not feel that unrealistic. 
And, well, in this game the reason is because you rest all the time. If you're a magic user. So it was not that road. Clearly it was not that road. You know, not that one here. Okay, let's let's see if there is... So if we go to Caldera over here, let's see if there is... Something... And yeah, I'm not going to walk back now, obviously. There is a Silt Strider here, after all. There is a Silt Strider, after all. Travel... Back to Aldrun, so this was one... Unsuccessful trek. Those look pretty scary from down here. This is where the road is. Let's see. Maybe, maybe now without the sandstorm, we can actually see him already standing here. So these, these two, we brought these two together. Let's see. So that's that road. Let's try. There is, it seems like there is only the two roads, but in the end you can go to Ilmora from here. But shouldn't that be somewhere south? Like... Oh, I think we always went through Ghost Gate. If I can't find him, I'm going to, to let it go. And then I promise I'm going to actually check on a map where he is before the next run. So I'm just going to go local. local. I want, just want to see where roads are. Is there... So this is this road we already traveled. It's kind of weird because we've been there. Could that be a typo in the wiki? Like, well, typo, like, simply a mistake. I'm a little bit confused, to be honest. But we will get there. So let me show you this. Getting ready to fight, first of all, that guy in the back there. And of course our fatigue is low, which means we need to wait a bit, because else the chance of casting a magic spell is drastically reduced. Here's something you can do while we're waiting. If you don't have something to drink, fetch something. It's important to stay hydrated. If you got something to drink, grab it and have a sip. This is important. So these two, sh she was worried about her husband and he was just hiding somewhere from, I think, three Nyx hounds. And this could actually be the respawn of those three Nyx hounds. Uh, I tunneled that spell through under his legs. That was weird. Yeah, sigh. That's exactly how I feel. Game. There we go. That was... As we say in German, eine schwere Geburt. A hard birth. Well, I'm already looking at it. Looking at it, at least. The, the interruption mechanic is kind of weird. <clears throat> I think... I think that those creatures should get afraid of you if you get stronger. And then not interrupt you anymore. On the other hand, I bet... If Bethesda would have created a mechanic like that, then they would have just made the creatures leveled. I think they did that in the later games. Like those random um, those random encounters that you have with the people that want to raid you, I think they are leveled. Um, 
So I just gave up. I just gave up and I'm going to search for this male Kishishi art. 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 Art is German. Why? Place. Place is what I wanted to say. Oh my god. This is weird. I'm waiting for the point when this happens to me in three languages. <laughs> <laughs> like saying a normal sentence in one of them and then just randomly adding a word from one of, one of the other two. <laughs> okay. I need the world map, so I want to go over here. Let me just... But you know what, I, I know for sure that I can go to Gnarmok. Let me do this, so I'm on the other side. I don't know where over here the pass through the mountains is. So I'm going to use the pass through the mountains that I know is here, and then just walk up. And then on the right side there should be that place. I don't even know what it is, if, if it's a dwarven ruin or... We'll see. Do I have fatigue potions? Restore health, restore health, restore fatigue. Two, two. Ah, not that good. So. Let us just. Let us just head over here and then to the left. When it says... I think Knarmok was Knarmok, exactly. We already walked there. Now that's neat. <laughs> so Lobo Master says... Um, he remembers that one time... His one of his classmates did a Spanish test, and they they changed the they changed the language they use in all of the questions. <laughs> I imagine the teacher like, <laughs> why are they replying in English now? Why are they replying in a different language now? What is this? Knarmok <laughs> Marigan, I am a little bit confused, but only a little. Let me just wait and replenish the, not oxygen, the fatigue. You know what? When I'm looking at that timer over here, I see a big 32 in the minute mark. So this means I think I'm going to stop the recording of this episode. And when the fatigue is restored, we will see each other in the next episode on Morrowind Monday. Bye-bye.